officially day 29 of the ongoing 31 days of horror, 31 days of Halloween 2015, which means we're almost done. You know, we're staring at the, the final stretch of uh, this long, winding uh, genre overview that began way back in 1922, and now we're in the year 2012. And uh, the movie we're doing today, I think, is one of the absolute best genre films probably of the 2010s. I mean, honestly, I haven't really seen that many films uh, from, from the horror genre from, you know, the 2000s onward. I mean, sorry, I just don't have enough time in the world to kind of go back and watch everything. Uh, but this one is certainly, I think, one of the finest. You know? It's one of the few that I've encountered the last couple of years that I think is truly a, a great film above and beyond the fact that it's just a great horror film. And this film is called Resolution. And what Resolution is, it's sort of a fusion meta horror film of, of sorts. And basically what that means is it's a film that's quasi self-aware that it is a movie. So, I mean, you're kind of breaking the fourth wall a lot. And uh, what really makes this different and why I love it so much is that after all of the horror stuff we've seen over the years, all of the ghosts and goblins and, and zombies and psychosexual murderers, you know, in the year 2012, what do we need to actually frighten us? And what this movie does, and I think it's absolutely brilliant, is it goes after two things that I think uh, all of us in the 2010s especially have experienced. Uh, number one, even if we ourselves haven't been a part of it, you know, it's, it's drug abuse. I mean, drug abuse is kind of like a real life form of uh, vampirism. I mean, it turns you into a zombie. You become enslaved by a chemical. Something takes over your mind. Something takes over your body and controls you, propels you, and uh, basically reins you in and has you in its control. And I mean, that's kind of like, in a way, sort of the modern day Dr. Caligari. I mean, you don't have the synambulus, but you can take a lot of Oxycontin and just have your mind just completely rotted. So I think uh, from that perspective, even if you've never done drugs, I mean, I've never done drugs in my life. But, you know, I know plenty of people who have. And, I mean, it's some scary stuff. I mean, you don't really want to talk about it. You know, some lots of good lives kind of damaged by that. So having that serve as sort of the central uh, villain, if you will, of the movie, I think is a really great idea. And I'd love to see more movies kind of go off on that uh, side of things as far as genre works are concerned. But the other thing about this movie that I really, really enjoy, another sort of modern-day horror that's sort of uh, capitalizing on, is our fear of not being able to help people, which is kind of weird, because back in the 80s, well, I mean, really, up until, like, you know, the 1990s, you know, horror films were almost exclusively about our fear of mortality, that things in society were going to kill us. Uh, and then, you know, with the, the advent of the whole torture porn, gorno kind of thing, it went from being about fears of, you know, being killed to more or less being fears of being completely helpless. Uh, you know, being, you know, controlled and manipulated and not having any ability to get out of a situation. You know, basically that kind of thing. And I think with Resolution, I think we're going to see the third wave of the horror film. And that's where we're moving away from fear of dying to fear of being helpless to our fear of being able to help other people, being unable to impact our environment. And I think Resolution is really sort of the cutting edge, and we're going to be seeing a whole lot more films like this in the future. Which, I mean, of course, it'll run dry eventually, but for now, I think it's really innovative, and I really like the idea. So at heart, this is an incredibly simple premise for a movie. Uh, there's a guy who just received this really weirdly edited, like, DVD of his friend who's just gone off the grid, and he's out in the woods squatting and just being drunk all the time and smoking crack and just waiting to die. So he says, you know what, I'm going to go over there. I've tried everything. I've tried rehab. I've tried doing all these other things. I'm going to have to do this to save his life. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to drug him myself. I'm going to kidnap him. I'm going to tie him up and I'm going to make sure he detoxes. It's for his own good. Which, depending on your perspective, in and of itself can be a horror film, you know, based on that alone. Uh, but where things get interesting is it throws in a lot of other things. You know, there's a great subplot, you know, about a, a bunch of other uh, drug dealers who apparently want some money from the friend, so they're kind of on the periphery, adding a lot of drama and intrigue. But the big thing is there's also appears to be something else lurking in the woods. 
there's some sort of greater force at play who's kind of toying around with these two characters. And uh, we'll leave it up to you to kind of decide what it is. Now, I know a lot of people will probably be upset with the ending because it is very abstract and completely out of left field. But at the end of the day, I think that just makes it even better. I mean, it gives you something different. It gives you something to kind of interpret on your own. And at the end of the day, I mean, with a film that's really so, you know, against the grain, it tries to be a little bit more realistic than most. That's actually going up there and striving to do something new and building horror based on, you know, circumstances and character. You know, it's just an all-around great, great, great movie. The dialogue is fantastic. Uh, the cinematography is great, even though it only costs like 12 bucks to make. Just everything about this, I really, really, really immensely enjoyed. And, you know, I think it's great. Uh, you've already seen a couple of movies come out there and already rip off this one. I think Evil Dead from 2013 uh, absolutely just stole the idea. I mean, it made it way worse uh, in their uh, movie. But this one, I think it's great. If you haven't seen it, absolutely terrific film. Uh, this is where I want to see horror go in the future. I mean, I think it's up there with stuff like, uh, well, it's not as good as a Serbian film. I mean, I'm not saying that, but it is really, really good. You know, it's stuff like Taxidermia. This sort of weird, like, social conscious horror. I, I like this. I like where things are headed. Let's put it that way. It's moving away from fear of, you know, just the Grim Reaper to fear of being enmeshed in society and not being able to handle your own problems. I think it's going to put this uh, genre in a lot of good places in the future. All right. So, Resolution, absolutely fantastic. Uh, go see this one. I'm going to give it a full four pieces of candy corn out of four. Perfect name for Halloween. I say check it out.